Will you search through the lonely earth for me? Climb through the briar and bramble. I'll be your treasure. I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you. Morning. You sleep at all? Nah, needed a wee most of the night, but I was too scared. Of what? I don't know. A ghost, I think, or a wolf. Did you check the spot? Yeah. Anything? Nah. There's definitely more. That's why they were watching. I figured it out. Who's watching what? I figured it out in the night. The magpies have been watching this spot for centuries. Successive generations of them. The magpies know there's more down there. It sounded a bit mystical. No, makes sense. Magpies love shiny things. Yeah, but they don't pass stories to their kids and grandkids. How do you know? Might be some sort of collective genetic memory. You want a cup of tea? How do I catch a magpie? Alive? Yeah. With utmost difficulty, mate. Reckon? Are you joking? What are your ideas? What's top of your list of ways to catch a live magpie? Net. What kind of net? Big one. Like a, a landing net. Well, and just creep up on it? Sit in a hide. Put bait out. Good luck with that. What are you going to do once you caught it? Interrogate it? Oh, I reckon they're, they're hoarding it all in one place, the gold coins. So if we could catch a magpie and attach a tracking device or a camera, get it to take another coin, we could watch where it goes. I think you might have a urine infection, mate. You held on to it for too long. Oh, well, I have to try. You going up the club, Monday? What's happening? Vardas giving a talk on the NCP hoard. What's NCP stand for? I don't know. National car parks, isn't it? I might be late. I'm working. Tell me you quit your job. I did. I signed up again with the temping agency. Weed killing on the A414. Nice. I'm not in till Tuesday, so I, I thought I might stay here, guard the place. Are you avoiding your flat? Hello. Have you come about the boiler? Uh, I'm looking for Lance. Is he here? No. Is it about the boiler? What? No, sorry. Who are you? I'm Maggie. Lance's ex. Who are you? I'm Tony. Lance's current. Current? What, like a sultana? No, current as in... Oh, my God! Oh, you Lance's girlfriend? Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry! I thought you meant like a raisin! Oh, <laughs> Did it not tell you? Oh, my God, this must look awful, me standing here in my slippers. No, he's just letting me stay in his daughter's room while she's away. Come in! Come in! Oh. Kate's gone away? Yeah. She borrowed his car, his little yellow TVR, while he's off camping or something. So, you're his girlfriend. Let's have a look at you. Huh. You know what I thought you'd be? I thought you'd be more like, you know, like what? Well, he used to be married to me, so someone more like, you know, nice clothes, a bit of makeup, not so tomboyish. What's your name again? Trevor. Tony. Oh, <laughs> oh, how funny. No, you look cute in that. I mean, it wouldn't suit me. People expect me to have uh, nice clean nails in my line of work. What's your line of work? 
I'm an author. Are you? Yeah. Yeah, but I've had a bit of a tidy up. Place was in a right state. He needs someone looking after him, that man. You a Scorpio? No. Do you want me to tell him you're here? If you want. See ya. All right, Steve. Mm. These are new sprayers, are they? Yeah, they're new ones. You filled the tanks with water? Yeah, it's just water in there. Okay, well, put half a bottle of that in each tank. Don't get it on your hands and uh, don't breathe it in. Yeah, that's all done, yeah. Don't forget your, um... Uh -huh. You need filling up? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll leave it here. I'll do it. Cheers. Thank you, Varda. Very interesting talk on a fascinating horde. And as ever, 
with these things, it throws up more questions than it answers. I mean, why were so many National Cycling Proficiency badges buried together? And by whom? Hell's Angels. Lance Armstrong. Any other questions for Varda before she rests her voice? <laughs> you must be quite hoarse after that marathon. No questions? OK, moving on. Lance, you got any further tracing your stolen coin? I'll give it up with that teriyaki. I'll be chasing magpies for the last two days. That's good. Bird watching's very good for the soul. It's calming. Yeah, not this type of bird watching, Sheena. This is angry bird watching for monetary gain. You wanted to catch one and strap a camera to it. I left a coin there, but they didn't touch it because they knew it wasn't gold. They didn't touch it because you were sitting next to it with a net. Actually, Varda had an idea about that, didn't you? Uh, Varda was saying that magpies, you know, being part of the Corvid family, are highly intelligent, so you could, given time, gain its trust and get it to take things from you. It's all very well you saying that, Varda. I haven't got the time to tame a magpie. We lose that land in three weeks. Honestly, you're all talk sometimes. Are you sure you're not just using this temporary magpie obsession to block out the difficulties you're having in your private life? I was just going to say that. Me too. It seems like you're focusing too much on magpies and not on your real problems. No. Anyway, I'm done with the gold coins and the magpies. You were right. I'm going to let that one go. Hmm. Play Stella, please, mate. Hiya, Tony. Love, uh, it's me. Uh, you haven't been returning my calls. So I was just wondering if everything's all right. Anyway, uh, Give us a ring when you get this message. Otherwise, I'll, I'll, I'll probably see you at work. Bye. Cheers, Michael. Sure I can't tempt anyone to stay? No, no. Got to be fresh for Bollywood class in the morning. Terry's favourite. Oh, yeah, you, you like the old Bollywood, do you? Oh, yes. He's very good. He could be in the movies. If he dyed his moustache and learnt to speak Hindi. <laughs> Bye, all. See you. Hello. All right. You all right? You gonna stay on your own? Yeah, I've got, I've got my magazine, you know, and... Uh, I'm just gonna give it another hour. Wait for Max to go to bed. <laughs> Bloody hell, mate, that's no way to live. Won't be for long. I'd stay for another, but I've got to be up early. Pressure hose in chewing gum in Chelmsford. Charming. Cheerio. Cheers. How is the club? Same. I can't imagine what you have to talk about. Do you meet weekly? Very weekly sometimes. It usually just turns into a therapy session, if I'm honest. I would love to be a fly on the wall. You don't have to be a fly on the wall. You can come along. No. Oh, I found a couple more flats I want to see. Are you working tomorrow? Yeah, afraid so, in Colchester. Oh. Where were you today? Colchester, the same. All day? Till four, yeah. Andy uncovered a portion of Roman mosaic last week, didn't you? I did, yeah. We were hoping there was going to be more, but we only turned up medieval stuff today. Didn't I see you on the A414 outside Malden? Pardon? No. No, I was in Colchester. Looked like you at lunchtime, spraying the weeds on the hard shoulder. No, no. I don't know who that could have been. Well, if it wasn't you, why would you know who it was? Exactly. Yeah, it could have been anyone. I'm going to hit the sack. Are you coming up? Yeah, yeah, it won't be long. Mate. What was that for? For lying about Kate not taking your car. Oh. How'd you find out? I came by your flat. And the car wasn't there? No. Was anyone else there? 
Yeah. Your ex-wife Maggie was there. All right, yeah. Listen, I've made a mess. Look, uh, could you stop throwing potatoes just for a minute? Made a mess of things. I, I should have told you, but I panicked. You lied. Yeah, I know, but I thought I was doing it for... Oh! Look, please stop throwing potatoes at me. I know I deserve to have potatoes thrown at me, but it, it's very hard to concentrate. There's nothing going on between us. We're not back together. I never suggested there was anything going on. If there's one thing I know you're not, Lance, it's a cheat. Oh, well, thanks. But you're a liar and a coward. And those are two of my least favourite character traits. I don't usually lie. You just thought you'd try it out on me. You bastard. Lying is what breaks couples up. Didn't you know that? Didn't think. Another character trait I don't like. That's three. Oh, I'm an idiot. Four. For months now, whenever I suggest staying at yours, you say Kate's there and the place isn't your own and you don't feel comfortable. I've never said I felt uncomfortable. I just wanted to spend some time with you. But the moment your ex turns up, you give Kate your car keys, say make yourself scarce, and the ex gets invited to stay. I couldn't turn her away, could I? You turn me away on a regular basis. Right, I'm gonna tell her. She has to go. Do what you want. Mags. My name's Tony, for fuck's sake. How long have you been waiting there? Two days? No, I heard you coming. Uh, you don't need to rev so hard when you're changing up. Oh, shut up, Dad. Wasn't expecting you back today. Came home early. That's OK, isn't it? So, how was she? She was grand. I love her. She smells of the 70s. Although I did back her into a post and broke a light. I'm kidding. Oh, you helped me go in there, Austin. Actually, I'm not kidding. I did break a light. I don't know why I said I didn't. I just felt like you wanted me to say it, so I did. So you have broke a light or you haven't? I have. I'm sorry, one of the back ones. I'm so sorry. I will get it fixed. Doesn't matter. It's only a car. No, please. Don't be heartbroken. Please. I thought you'd be angry. I thought I'd be one saying it's only a car. Yeah, it's just one more thing, really. They say bad luck comes in eights. Did you not have a nice time without me? Unforeseen circumstances. I messed up a bit. Upset Tony. Are you kidding? My ex-wife Maggie showed up. That was your ex-wife? Oh, my God, I let her in the flat. No, no, I had to let her stay anyway, because she split up with her partner and she was pretty cut up. So uh, I let her sleep in your room. So you didn't even see Tony? No. Nope. I'm sure you could patch it up, if she really means that much to you. Yeah, there's a Triumph specialist in Bolton. He's bound to have one in stock. I meant Tony. Uh, anyway, there's no rush. As long as I get to him this afternoon before he shuts at four. Actually, you know, I'd better get on with it.
Oh. I was thinking about what you said yesterday, and I think I know where you might have seen me. We did stop off in the afternoon to survey another site in Malden. Yeah, I remember now. I know those weren't sprayers you saw us with. It was um, surveying equipment, measuring sticks. Oh, don't tell lies. Do you think I'm stupid? I know what I saw, and it wasn't you being an archaeologist, but an agency worker spraying weed killer on the hard shoulder. What's going on, Andy? It's just water, actually. I didn't put the weed killer in. What is going on? I quit my job. Quit or lost? Quit. It was a scam. I did find a mosaic, and I'm pretty sure there was more of it, but it was scraped away in the night before I had a chance to find out. Because anything interesting found would just delay construction of this office block. So then you quit for the right reasons. Thanks. So what makes you think my daughter wouldn't understand? Well, because she wants to buy a flat and she's worried about Stan's schooling and... I think she'd rather I just bit my tongue for a while until we can afford a home. I think you'll find that ethics and principles stand pretty high on my daughter's agenda. Yeah, I know. I didn't mean... That. I'm just very aware that after all those years studying, I'm not making much of a success of being an archaeologist. Well, maybe you're not an archaeologist. Maybe you're more of a hobbyist. <sighs> Can't make any money from hobbies. That's why they're hobbies. <laughs> maybe you're not a moneymaker either. What a guy. Sorry for lying. What are you looking for? Oh my god, you made me jump. What are you doing sitting there? This is my room. I thought you weren't coming back till tomorrow. Oh. I was just looking for Lance's TV license. Do you know where he keeps his TV license? It's not in there. Is it not? No. You angry? I'm a little bit angry, yeah. Oh, don't be silly. Come and have a cup of tea. God, you made me jump. Did you have a nice time? I can't believe you lent me this car. You never used to let me go near that thing. Not to drive it, anyway. Oh, I always hated getting in and out of that car. I could never do it without flashing my knickers. How long are you staying for? Not long. Just until I sort myself out. You do know he's got a girlfriend, don't you? Yeah. I met the Karen. She's a funny little thing, isn't she? What are you doing here, Maggie? Oh, dear. You were a little bit jealous. <laughs> yeah. If I upset your cushy little number. Because you must have it pretty easy here, I suppose, have you? Treat the place like your own. Because it was a right shithole when I arrived. What are you after? I'm not after anything, love. You're the one taking the piss. I don't suppose Lance has ever told you about us, has he? Yeah, he told me you left him for an arsehole. Did he call him an arsehole? I think he did, yeah. It's rude. So what is it I need to know about you and my dad? that we still have a deep connection and we'll always be there for one another. Mm. You hadn't mentioned that, no. We have a spiritual bond forged at a pagan ceremony at Avery Standing Stones. He kept that one to himself too. I know what Lance wants. I know what Lance needs. Lollipop, message from the arse home. I reckon about 10 minutes, 15. 
for you to get your spells and your potions out of my room and your bony arse out of my dad's life. Bony arse? Yeah. Apparently. That's from Working Girl. <laughs> That's what I said. Melanie Griffith. What did the text say? Well, she wouldn't tell me. Only that it was him, you know, Pizza Hut manager. And she's gone now, Maggie. Yeah, again. <sighs> Just got to patch things up with Tony. Connect four. Did you bring games? While away the hours? Where'd you get the Kaplunk? Uh, charity shop, yeah. You know, there isn't a single charity shop that doesn't have a Kaplunk. Yeah, you should check it out. They can't shift them. There's a Sue Ryder in Colchester has a sign in the window. No Kaplunks, thank you. Because it takes too long to put the sticks back in. If you take the time, the rewards are obvious. Of course, it should really be on a level playing surface. Here we go. Balls. Mm -hmm. 